European values are not for sale. <laughs> Honourable members, these values are more important than ever. I say that because when I think of the State of the Union, I am reminded of the words of John Hume, one of the great Europeans who sadly passed away this year. If so many people live in peace today on the island of Ireland, it is in large part because of his unwavering belief in humanity and conflict resolution. He used to say that conflict was about difference and that peace was about respect for difference. And as he so rightly reminded this house in 1998, and I quote, the European visionaries decided that difference is not a threat. Difference is natural. Difference is the essence of humanity. End of quote. And these words are just as important today as they ever have been. Because when I look around, we ask ourselves, where is the essence of humanity when three children in Wisconsin watch their father shot by the police while they sit in the car? Where is the essence of humanity when anti-Semitic carnival costumes openly parade in our streets? Where is the essence of humanity when every single day Roma people are excluded from society and others held back simply because of the color of their skin or their religious belief? I am proud to live in Europe in this open society of values and diversity. But even here in this union, these stories are a daily reality for so many people. And this reminds us that progress on fighting racism and hate is fragile. It is hard won, but very easily lost. So now is the moment to make change, to build a truly anti-racist union that goes from condemnation to action. And the Commission is putting forward an action play plan to start making that happen. As part of this, we will propose to extend the list of EU crimes to all forms of hate crime and hate speech, whether because of race, religion, gender or sexuality. Hate is hate and no one should have to put up with that. We will strengthen our racial inequality laws where there are gaps. We will use our budget to address discrimination in areas such as employment, housing or health care. We will get tougher on enforcement when implementation lags behind. Because in this union, fighting racism will never be optional. We will improve education and knowledge on the historical cultural causes of racism. We will tackle unconscious bias that exists in people, in institutions, well, yes, and even in algorithms. And we will appoint the Commission's first ever anti-racism coordinator to keep this at the top of our agenda and to work directly with people, civil society, and institutions. <laughs> 